Hi Pisces, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do a general collective read for your star sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. I hope everybody has been doing well and holding up great. I know we got some crazy ass shit going on, that coronavirus. Um, doing a lot of fear mongering out here. I'm not going to get into it, but I'm just going to basically say prayers, love, and peace, and blessings to all of those who have succumbed to the coronavirus, who have crossed over, um, those who have um, become stricken with the coronavirus. Okay? So with that out of the way, I don't like to dwell on negative because there's something deeper than that, but we won't get into that today. But um, I hope everybody is doing fucking great outside of that. All right? Also, thank you to all of my subscribers who have been rocking with me since day one. Much love. I love you to death, Soul Fam. Thank you so much for being with me from day one. Um, I'm still in the mud, still getting up out of it. But that's what I'm here for. All right. Also, I like to thank those that don't subscribe but come through to my channel to see what the fuck I'm doing. Much love and peace and blessings to you too. Also, as you know, guys... Um, I talk shit, I cuss in my videos, so if that offends anybody, please click off. I'm not the reader for you, no harm, no foul, all right? We cool, Gucci. Also, as you know, time is fluid, so this could be past, present, and future energy. Take what resonates, what doesn't, fuck it. Check your moon, uh, sun, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, north node, south node, Jupiter, all that good shit, because somewhere along the line, something is going to resonate, resonate for you, Okay. Also, um, we know time is fluid, so this could be past, present, and future energies. This could be you or your person. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. Um, this could be same-sex relationship energies, the whole nine, okay? I left um, my Oracle decks up for now um, because I had just got finished posting something up on YouTube and Instagram. It's been a minute. I'm getting back into the swing of things. Um, I've had some, uh, moments in my life that have been changes for me. So I come back on and I do what I need to do when I need to do it. All right. So I wanted to start out with my newest deck and this is called the dreams of Gaia. It's a beautiful deck. Um, the card that came up today when I shuffled was number six. So this would be the Chrome. And the crone is feminine power, fearlessness, authenticity, authenticity <laughs> individuality, independence, new purpose, freedom, shadow self. So this is going to coincide for a lot of you who are going through spiritual awakenings. Um, this is also going to coincide for a lot of my divine feminines, whether you are male, but in feminine energy or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. The key phrases, I'm still learning this deck, guys. So, the woman who understands her true nature, be aware of your choices, be unafraid to walk your path alone, a life of your own design, untapped power and potential, a fertile and productive future, a childless state, be unbowed and unapologetic, respect and cherish your elders, a direct forthright approach is needed, do what's necessary, not what's expected. It is time to be fierce and fight back. I guess I, I've fallen under the chrome. Okay. That have to look a little ragged. But anyway, long as a bitch get the shit done, that's all that counts. At the end of the day, fam, I'm going to go ahead and say I started out with the Illuminati Tarot. You got the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So Pisces, you are in the house. We got the Sun card, which is Leo energy. We have um, the Prince of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again, and we have the Five of Cups, more Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and we have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgo energy. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo or another water sign like yourself or a Virgo. Some of you could have all of this Pisces in your chart, all right? So somebody is wanting wish fulfillment. Someone wants to be happy. Someone could be looking at a Leo that they want wish fulfillment with or vice versa. 
They want to offer a cup of love, but somebody has regrets, remorse. Um, they feel like a real jackass for how they put somebody in a third party situation, be it people, places, or things. But they're failing to realize that there's still two cups remaining in the back. They're only paying attention to the forefront. And, you know, they need to go within so they can be like the hermit and get inner clarity and guidance. Somebody has um, went on their spiritual awakening. Some of you are being awakened as we speak. For others of you, you're a little further along this journey. Some of us are in here damn deep, okay? But <clears throat> at the bottom of the romance oracle deck, I got codependency. So some of you are where addictions are affecting your romantic life. Some of you will experience a rebirth in the springtime. That is a beautiful card from the Earth Magic Oracle deck. And you're going to have adjacent possibilities. So there are going to be several new doors that are going to open for you in the Energy Oracle deck is telling me. And then we have um, the Ascended Masters, which is Twin Flame. And this is a genus. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I might be fucking his name up, so I ain't gonna call that name no more. We got twin flames right here. So some of you are becoming aware that you're a twin flame. Some of you already know that you're twin flame. And some of you are coming into union with your twin, your divine masculine, whichever, your higher level soulmate, okay? Also, your Archangel Michael, um, not Archangel Michael, I must be thinking about him or he must be thinking about me. I'm doing my job, bro. Okay. But in the meantime, Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So some of you may need to heal your heart, Pisces, or you, your person may need, need to heal your heart. And this is for cross watchers that um, may have been hurt by a Pisces or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. But ultimately, we do have a divine masculine that is on board, the emperor, or somebody that is knowing how to take charge, take control of a situation, knows what they want, knows how to go get it. This person could own their own business. Um, they could be in a high level power position in their field of work. Um, this person is usually older, but they don't have to be. They can be very wise. This person... Um, could be married, don't have to. Could have jits, don't have to. Could be in a long-term relationship, don't have to. But this person, they rule, they run um, empires, they rule nations. Okay? And this is the deck that I'm going to read from. So I'm going to pull up all the rest of the Oracle decks until I um, close out your reading. All of these uh, decks, by the way, have already been blessed and shuffled and cut. I don't know what that is, but you got to get the hell on from up out of here. And we're going to slide these little guys out of the way too. So we're going to start out with the Oracle deck to find out what's going on in your love life, Pisces. So let's get started. Excuse any background noise. That's my, my chair. It's not raggedy, but it's squeaky, but I love it. What is the messages for my Pisces, please? Can you give me some messages for my Pisces? What do they need to know? And what is the messages for my Pisces? Thank you. So we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So some of you have been dealing with someone that was a soulmate to you. And there is getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so clearly there is need for conversation and i'm curious to see what's up underneath soulmate healing family issues yeah so there could be some patterns going on we have wedding this situation involves marriage so some of you your person could be asking you to marry them or you, them. And that's not dirt underneath my nails, family. That's um, blood. I hurt my finger. So 
<clears throat> bear with me. I need to get something done to my nails, but I'm not in no rush. Um, so some of you are involved in a situation where maybe your person could already be in a marriage or um, they're going to ask you to get married or you're going to ask them to get married or you're the one that's already married. Forgiving and learning, Pisces, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I think when I lift it up on healing family issues, that could be a portion of what may be going on. I'm not going to say specifically, <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and get started with the reading. I want to be nosy and see what's up underneath the hermit too. Communication could be coming in too, Pisces. Um, could be from a fire sign. Something was a lesson for someone. Something was destined and fated. There could be a queen of wands, a Leo involved, and this could definitely be your soulmate. But there is also a queen of cups up underneath the soulmate. And there has been a ten of swords situation. Hmm. All right, let's see what comes out in the reading. So Pisces, what is the message? What does my Piscean soul fam need to know, please? What is their energies? <clears throat> okay, that's enough right there. Let's get started with what we got. I don't do reversals, guys. So we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So somebody could have been in and out of a relationship, possibly as long as 10 years. Um, this person could have been... Um, you know, taking their relationship for granted, doing a lot of one night stands, a lot of toxicity, a lot of codependency. This uh, showed up with the Oracle reading. So that definitely coincides with the messages. Um, I smell control here. That definitely coincides with the emperor. And I also see the 10 of swords. So there's definitely been some betrayal and addictions are affecting this relationship. relationship excuse me. Someone has sexual addictions. Someone has sexual addictions. Someone is very egotistical, very arrogant, um, very defensive, um, very condescending. And this is involving a long-term committed relationship, possibly a marriage. Um, could be up to 10 years. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a fire sign. Could have all of this in your chart. Either you or your person, Pisces. But somebody wants to uh, get the hell away from something that's very toxic, um, very codependent in a situation. Could be you, Pisces. It could be this Cancer. Somebody is definitely trying to, and they could be trying to get away from their own toxicity, their own behavior, uh, their addictions. Maybe they finally got a victory. Maybe they went to go seek counseling, get some help with their addictions. Could be the situation. And what is the messages for my Pisceans? We have the Page of Swords. So this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So someone could be Lurking, spying, looking in on you and your situation. <clears throat> Someone could be, um, you know, like coming through, taking a stroll down through your, you know, through your neighborhood, checking you out, see what's going on. And I got something hidden. Oh my gosh. I got a king of swords that's hidden behind the five of cups. So this person could be very closed off, could be very cold, could be very, uh, unemotional, very analytical. This was hidden behind my five of swords and my five of cups. So somebody could be very disconnected emo emotionally. This could be either you or them Pisces, one of the two, but wow, I did not even see that until I got ready to try to touch my card and shift. And I saw an extra card. Wow. Always find something new. But somebody definitely could be immature or younger than you. There could be some children involved in this situation, um, possibly. But um, <clears throat> somebody is definitely um, lurking, spying, wanting to know what's going on. Um, there could be some blockages. 
some delays going on in this situation too. What else can you tell me for Pisces, please? Any more messages for Pisces? We have the Nine of Cups. So yet again, here we are. Someone is spying, possibly could be spying Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you definitely, Pisces could be you, or you could be dealing with another Pisces or another water sign that is trying to find out if you're getting wish fulfillment someplace else. They are wanting to know. And somebody wants to manifest um, some passion with you, Pisces. Either you want to manifest it with them or they want to manifest it with you. What else can you tell me about Pisces too? We have <clears throat> the tower. So somebody's relationship is going through a change, a massive change. Maybe this could be significant. This for me is a breakup. This, this, this here, somebody wants out of this shit. And somebody manifested their way to become single out of this shit. Yeah, this is, this is over. This is a breakup. This is a divorce. Somebody is definitely going through a divorce or a major breakup and somebody is damn single and they were ready to get the hell on too. Ready. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Aries energy, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo, Aries and Scorpio energy here, but somebody definitely was ready for this. It's like this person already knew that this was going to come and it could have been because this person um, was out of control with their addictions. I'm hearing that this person could have worked too much too. And some of their, um, <clears throat> addictions could have been at work. Um, others could have been, uh, sexual addictions as well. Um, and drug and alcohol addictions too. And for a small few, you gambling. What else can you tell me for Pisces, but mainly sex addictions, drug porn, Somebody could be leaving a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Most definitely could be leaving this ass in the dust. This person is over emotional. They don't know how to put a lid on their emotions and keep them in control. And for others of you, somebody left a Cancer that did not have their emotions under control. It's a lot of water out here, folks. Pisces, this, I, I know this is water, but damn, it's a lot of water going on out here. But somebody definitely um, put a lid on their emotions and shut down either you or them. But somebody got the hell on from somebody. This could have been a third party situation where somebody's like, you know, I got to get the fuck up out of here. You don't have to be a cancer or a Scorpio, you could just um, embody embody those energies too. You can embody any energy of any zodiac sign when necessary. So tell me more for Pisces, please. What is the messages? What is their energy? Give me more insight for Pisces, please. We have Pisces. So Pisces, somebody could be spying on you, wondering what you are doing because you are not talking, you are not speaking. So you and your person may not be in communication. Somebody may have to go just based off of their intuition at this present moment. So someone is not really sure um, <clears throat> of how you might feel towards them. What they do know is that Pisces, that you're single, you look great, you're doing well, you're becoming financially stable, abundant if you already aren't there, having your own business, doing your own thing. You could be, you know, um, the one that cut off all communication, shut it down, no speaking, because this King of Swords could be you, Pisces. You could have turned into the King of Swords and acted like the High Priestess. In this situation, very quiet, very mysterious. They don't know your next move. They don't know who you're talking to, who you're dealing with. Some of you could have even changed jobs is what I'm hearing too. So 
anything is possible, Pisces. And um, looks like you chose yourself. You made a decision. Can you give me one more card for Pisces, please? We have the Seven of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgos. So there could be some financial delays that could be slowing down the process of wish fulfillment. Others of you, um, and for a small few of you, you need to get your chakras in alignment and work on your um, drinking. Whatever chakra would um, be for a, alcohol addictions, you may need to work on balancing out that chakra. But um, some of you are just waiting for one more thing to complete itself before you can move forward into wish fulfillment. Could be dealing with an earth sign. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the temperance angel, which is Archangel Michael. So some of you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, your person could, or you both could. All three parties could. But um, you are trying to balance out your emotions. The angel here is assisting you, um, tempering your emotions at this present time. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Pisces, please? We have, ooh, some, so somebody is just out of control with the sex. And they want a passionate new beginning. Are they offering anything other than passion? Let's find out. Are they offering Pisces anything more than just passion? What else are they offering Pisces besides sex? Oh, Pisces, you getting sex and truth? What else, Pisces? What are they giving Pisces besides sex and truth? Is there any stability? Is there any love? Oh, they want to show up as the King of Pentacles. So this person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They want to show up and want to offer you some uh, stability. Let's see. What else are they offering to Pisces? What are they offering, my soul, my soul family? They want to put in work too, Pisces. And they don't want to be rejected either. Hmm. Interesting, Pisces. Interesting. So tell me about this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Pisces? What is the messages and what does my Pisceans need to know? All right, Pisces. Somebody wants to come in and offer uh, love in a situation. Someone feels like there was no love in that situation. Somebody could definitely be getting a divorce in that situation. This also could be karmic justice. There was too much indecision, too much imbalance, too much juggling going on. And somebody needed to find strength in that uh, Ten of Pentacles situation. And it ultimately caused them to walk away. They did the Eight of Cups. went on, um, And this is a painful walking away. This was devastating to this person. It was very hard for this person to walk away, Pisces, either you or them. <clears throat> That's a spiritual awakening too. Why is the devil card here for my Piscean soul family? We have, ooh, that's not no victory. For some of you, maybe a victory. Somebody could be where they have... Um, gotten rid of the codependency and this could be victory but that could be ego too so we got to be why is it well we know that it could be um a water sign that is clearing these addictions um a scorpio or a cancer or a pisces <clears throat> maybe in the past 
They didn't offer you enough Pisces. Maybe they tried to crumb you. Um, maybe it was a one-sided situation. What else? Oh, God, this could have been your twin, too. Um, in this situation for some of you. And they betrayed you. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so some of you, your twin flame, your divine masculine, divine counterpart could have betrayed you in a situation. And that's where that Ten of Pentacles is about. Um, the addictions is about. <clears throat> Can you give me some more insight about the devil card and the six of one? Woo! Did I not say twin flames? I know what I'm talking the fucking about. Wow, people. And it's bringing the fucking world card on this situation. This shit has been shut the fuck down. Shut it down. Father Divine, shut that shit the fuck down. It's a wrap. Game over. Game OV. Come on. Why is the love is here for my Pisces? Ooh, ooh. Some of y'all about to go into union. As soon as your person levels up, they go in within to get clarity and guidance. You could be dealing with a Virgo. They are in a committed, this is a third party situation. This is a soul contract. Mm. Let's get hot. Come on with it. Yeah, somebody waiting for their ships to come in. Let's get on with the rest of it. Bow, soulmate. Mm, let's go. Why is the chariot here for my Pisces? Oh, didn't I tell you? Father time. Father, Father divine came in and shut this shit down. He put this shit in timeout. What was needed, Father? For somebody to get out of their head. Stop being arrogant and started standing up for themselves so they could stand up, stand their ground and defend themselves. This could have been you, Pisces. Father Divine stepped in and pulled you out of a fucked up situation so you could gain the strength to come in and stand up for yourself. Defend yourself, babies, and get the fuck up out of your head because you were trapped. You couldn't move. This shit was a fucking burden to you. Or your person. But I'm feeling stronger. Stronger that it's for my Piscean soul family. Y'all got out of an ugly situation babies. Yeah. You walked away from an immature person. Where did you go? Yeah. There was uh, conflict. Competition. Lies. Deceit. Betrayal. Could have been that work. Yeah. For a small few of you, somebody could have actually got killed behind this shit. For others of you, this was a transformation, a death and a rebirth. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio too. They could have been fucking with somebody at their place of work. Why is the death card here? Because somebody needed to change and start a new, take a leap of fucking faith. I'm done. Why is the nine of cups here? for Pisces. Somebody wants to communicate wish fulfillment. This is either going to come through by text message, email, phone call, uh, social media, any way they can do it. If that motherfucker have to send smoke signals, they're going to send you a message and expect it to come soon. Why is the magician here for my Piscean friends and family? Soulmate. Why is the magician here for my Piscean soul family? Ooh, yes, Lord, you are manifesting. You're calling in your fucking twin. Call him in. Call in your fucking twin. Go ahead, do your shit, Pisces. What is this emperor going to do when he gets here to Pisces? Tell me that. Put it into the shit. Close one door before you open a new door. What's going to be at the new door? Reconcili fucking Asian. Need I say more? All right. Somebody tired of the stress, the strife, and the burdens. 
They're ready to shut that shit down, shut it down. The Father Divine already came and put it down. Why is the tower here for my Piscean family? Pisces, y'all got a good fucking reading. Oh, y'all got an amazing reading. Two of Swords. Because somebody needed to take the fucking rose-colored glasses off because there was a lot of shit hidden. Moon energy. Cancer energy. They say Pisces. I say Cancer. So some of y'all could have been dealing with a Cancer. All right. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for my Piscean soul fam? Because when you became the Nine of Pentacles, you, became, you were the King of Swords. Look at this shit. I can't make this shit up, y'all. I can't make this shit the fuck up. Didn't I tell you the sword, the King of Swords was hidden behind the Five of Cups. And I just shout out to clarify the fucking Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords. You became the King of Swords. This shit made you cold. It cut, it made you logical, analytical. You made a head over heart fucking decision. Why is the Queen of Cups here for my Piscean soul fam? And you got balance in the situation, boo-boo. Why is the Queen of Cups here for my Piscean family? For the Queen of Cups, what are they here for? Mm-hmm. Somebody wants commitment. Somebody could be already in a commitment with a motherfucking Queen of Pentacles. There's your third party right there, boo. There was a third party right there. That's that soul contract. Communication of action being taken. So what is going to be the outcome of this commitment here? For my Pisceans. <clears throat> Healing. Healing. Regeneration. And a new fucking offer. Boo boo. What you got coming? Why is the high priestess here for my Piscean family? Because somebody intuitively knew that they were lying and betraying you where love was concerned. And they wanted the new start. Who, was, who created the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? A fucking water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now they regret it. Look at this shit. I can't make this shit up, Pisces. I didn't make this shit. Look at this. Look at this. I asked who did it. Who did this? Who did the tennis? And look at how they feel now, Pisces. Not once, but twice. Regret, remorse, feeling sorrowful, feeling fucked up. That they fucked over you. And they knew they fucked over you. They knew it. Why is the seven of pins here for my Piscean soul fam? Baby. Because somebody needed to make a choice. What did they need to make a choice on for Pisces? There could have been a Leo involved. Or a fire sign. That was a burden. <laughs> Who is this Leo? Or this King of Wands? I smell a hoe in this situation too. This card tried to flip over. Yeah. This pipe. This fire sign got fucking water in their chart. Whoever you were dealing with. What else can you tell me about that fire sign with water in their chart? Somebody walking away. That's for damn sure. What else can you tell me for my Pisces about this fire sign with water in their chart, Divine? What's the message? What do they need to know? Somebody getting left out in the fucking cold. Karma's a bitch. What goes around comes around, the little. So exactly what they gave, somebody else got to get it. 
And somebody coming back through with an offer after their fucking heart got broke. Now they know what it feels like to be in a third party. I feel like your person got placed in a third party by their person. Now they know what the fuck it feels like. Yeah, cause them to walk away from Ten of Cups with a soulmate. Karmic soulmate. Look at there. That's a karmic fucking soulmate. There you go. Now there's no action taken because they need to heal before they can come through with this offer for celebration. But this was also a third party situation. Look at there. Stress, burdens. Now they want to communicate and bring in an offer to you, Pisces. Yeah, the divine love offer. But they're scared now. They're scared as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Because you done fired up on that ass. Yeah. You might have fire somewhere in your chart too, Pisces. And you you with it too. You about that life. You done stepped all the way. You see how you fell back? Your fallback game got hard, boo-boo. It got real motherfucking hard. So hard and to the point of where you cut them the fuck off and started focusing heavily on your finances. Even when you felt defeated. Because this mug had multiple choices and options. Turned out to be illusions. That's my fuck boy, fuck girl card. You cut that shit the fuck off and you became the empress. Mm-hmm. Now you fucking happy. This was destined, baby. Yeah, careful. Whoever you fucking with now, you could come up with a baby or somebody's coming back in to offer love, but they can also bring a love and a baby. But somebody is still scared. That they're going to be left out in the fucking cold. Let's go to it, Pisces. You got a beautiful fucking reading, baby. Beautiful, 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 fam. Let's see what the love oracle got to say now. Let me reshuffle right quick. Oh, my God. They did you so dirty. But you know what? What goes around comes around. God don't play with... He don't care nothing about ugly. He don't care nothing about beauty. What you put out in this world is what you get back. What you sow is what you got to reap. So either this happened to you, Pisces, or either you did this to your person, and now it came back to you, but I think it was your person. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you got a choice to make, baby. What is the love messages for my Piscean soul fam? Can you give me a message? What do they need to know? Hmm. Seems like love is going to be static. Like inconsistent because the cards are not coming. Let's, let's go again. Soulmate. Yeah, this is your soulmate. Can you give me any messages for my Piscean soul family, please? Yeah, your soul yes might be a little slow, but it may pick up too. Worth waiting for. So divine timing. This makes sense why your cards were so difficult to deal. Divine timing is at your love life, and your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So your person may come back in and offer you engagement, Pisces. That's beautiful. Um, we're gonna use the Earth Magic Oracle deck. Can you give me any messages? For my Piscean soul family, what do they need to know? We have communion. So some of you, your inner spirit guide, and you need to commune. Could be an eagle. And uh, Gaia is telling you to nurture yourself. See how beautiful Gaia is? If I can get it to focus. Beautiful. She's breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful, Pisces. So this is what you become when you start nurturing yourself, my loves. All right. Let's go ahead and see what the messages are from the Energy Oracle deck. Can you please tell me what my energy is for my Pisceans? Please. What is the messages for them? And what do they need to know? 
What is the messages for my Piscean soul family? What is their messages? And what do we need to know, please? Ooh, door to personal healing and happiness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And victory. Look at there, Pisces. You got the victory, baby. Beautiful. That goes perfect with that sun card. And first chakra, Archangel Michael. So it is your crown chakra that's being activated. No, 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 no. Your base chakra. I told y'all somebody's chakra is out of alignment. Could be your twin. Some of y'all could be mirroring each other. All right, let's see what the Ascended Masters have to say for my Piscean soul family. What messages do you have, Ascended Masters, for my Piscean soul family, please? Any messages for my Piscean soul family? No messages, Ascended Master. And Twin Flame is still down at the bottom. I guess they said that was the message you needed to fucking hear. For some of y'all. But is there any messages? Some of you might be artistic. Paul the Venetian. Last but not least, my favorite, the Archangel Oracle deck. What is the messages for my Piscean soul family, please, angels? This one wanted to come out. Ooh, beautiful. 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 Beautiful, Pisces. Sensitivity, that is perfect. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. That goes perfectly with nurturing. Beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Also, we have divine order. Archangel Raguel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. You did that. You gained the clarity to see that when you became the King of Swords to become the Nine of Pentacles. Take Back your power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings in your life. Beautiful. Door to personal healing and happiness. Mm, that goes together for me. Brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Mm, and won't you get it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Look at here. Won't he do it? Yeah, he'll do it. Won't he do it? All right, Pisces. I love you guys. Thank y'all so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends and coworkers. You can find me as Ascended Twin, 144K on Instagram. You can find me as Ascended Twin, 144K here on YouTube. And you can also find me as Ascended Twin or Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin on Facebook. I love you, Soul Fam. Beautiful, beautiful outcome. Stay where you are. Keep, keep on this track and you can't go wrong. I love you, family. Take care of yourselves. Y'all stay blessed.